Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today what we will be doing is um, our topic is graphing linear equality and inequality for dummies. So why did I emphasize this uh, dummies part? Because for me this is the easiest way of graphing any linear equality and inequality. Okay? And this method is actually called graphing. Let me just use another color thing. Okay. This is known as the graphing using the intercepts. Kasi using the intercepts, what we are just simply doing is we are assuming that x and y is equal to 0. Okay? We are assuming x is equal to 0 and y is equal to Sorry, that's too much y is equal to 0, okay? And then, we are just simply looking for the pair. Ano kayong y dito kapag ka 0 yan? And ano kayong x dito kung yan ay 0? Okay? So, this is our topic for today. Hope you can catch up. Um, just a prior, uh, just some prior knowledge that I would require from you guys is you know how to solve for the unknown and you know how to solve for fractions if there would be any, okay? So, let's start. And also, you need transposition pala. So, Let's start. Um, say our first example is x plus 2y is less than 4. So our aim here in every um, graphing using the intercepts, may it be equality or inequality, is first let's just um, assume that this is an equality problem. Okay, is equals to 4. Assuming that this is our new equation, what we need to do is we need to assume that x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. Assuming this... Um, x is 0 and y is 0, we just simply need to solve the equation, okay? So, x plus 2y is equal to 4, giving us with 0 plus 2y is equal to 4. What would happen would be the, the value that you are assuming as 0 will be gone. It will be gone. Leaving you with 2y is equal to 4 and y is equal to 2. Because when we transpose this one, it becomes divided by 2. 4 divided by 2, the answer is 2. So, we have a 2 value. And as for the y, again, those values that we assume as 0 will be gone. This would be gone. Yeah, this would be gone, basically. So, you will be left with x equals to 4. Okay? So, what now? After you have, uh, you have achieved your values for x and y, which is 4 and 2, you just simply need to plot them in the Cartesian plane. Specifically, you have to locate, saan sila sa axis natin? This positive x is on the x-axis positive side. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is our 4. This positive 2 would be on our y-axis positive side. 2. Yeah. And what you need to do is you just simply need to plot them. Positive, y, uh, positive 2 for y and positive 4 for x. And lastly, connect them. See? It's that simple. And you have already your graph. That's simple, okay? Let's have another example. Kasi this is for dummies nga kasi it's really easy, okay? Next example, say we have um, 2x minus 3y is le uh, greater than 6, okay? Kanina less than, now we have greater than. But then again, whatever happens, yan man ay equality, equations or inequalities. We always assume it as equals. Kasi we will be solving for the points. Okay? So, assume x is 0 and y is equal to 0. Okay? So, 2 times 0 minus 3 times y is equal to 6. Negative 3y is equal to 6 and y would give you negative 2. And next, y is 0. 2x minus 3 times 0 is equal to 6. 2x is equal to 6 and x will be positive 3. And that's it. You, all, you already have your points on the axis. We have positive x which would be on the right side. Dito sa x. Ito yung, ito yung x axis natin. Ha? The x. Dito yan banda. And for the y negative dito yan banda. So our graph would look mainly like this. Mainly on the fourth quadrant. Positive 3, 1, 2, 3. Negative 2, 1, 2, negative 2. This is 1, 2, and negative 1. Okay? So, plotting the points will give us 
this point and another point here connect the dots this would be my given line diba it's a, a little it's easy graphing using the intercepts so again, let's have another but this i think this would ano, this would fall under certain cases only kasi may mga ibang given that demands you to do more manipulation okay so, say we have y is greater than or equal to 5x plus 3. So, again, our rule will not change. We assume always it's equals. Okay? We assume always that it is equals. And then, we assume always that x is 0 and y is equal to 0. Okay? Knowing this, what would happen? x would be 0. y is equal to 5 times 0 plus 3. And y is equal to 3. Kasi wawala yan. It will be gone, okay? Next, having y is equal to 0 would give us 0 is equals to, sorry, let me write that properly. 0 is equals to 5x plus 3. What's the next thing you do? Solve for the unknown. When solving for the unknown, you leave it alone. So, you will have negative 3 is equals to 5x. X is equals to 5, i sorry, X is equals to negative 3 over 5. Kasi you will transfer yan dito, division, will give you this one. Yeah. Knowing this thing, bakit, baka sabi nyo, sir, baka nagbaliktad. X is equals to 2 is also equals to 2 is equals to X. It's the same. So, naging given natin dito, basically, is like this. Negative 3 over 5 is equals to X. It's the same. Okay po, it's the same. So, knowing having this, our um, graph for x would be here, and our graph for y would be here. So, we would be mainly on the second quadrant. So, our graph would look mostly like this. Majority is a second quadrant. Okay? So, we have y for 3, 1, sorry, let's make it bigger. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. And our x is, um, let's assume that x this is 1 and this is 2. Negative 1 and negative 2, okay? Negative 3 fifths. Negative 3 fifths, it's more than 1 half. So, nandito yung banda. Nandito yung banda, okay? Negative 3 fifths. Negative 3 fifths, okay? So, plotting the points would be like this. Positive 3 yung y here. Ayan. And then yung negative 3 fifths nandito. So, connecting the points. Sorry, ah. Um, little bit hard to connect. Ah, we have a ruler, but I don't know. Sige na, let's use the ruler. We have a ruler. Okay. Oops, sorry. No, no. Not zoom here. Yeah. Um... Okay, okay, there you go. Connect the point, connect the dots. Yeah. So we will have this one. Okay, this would be our graph. Tapos na. Right? Easy, kasi this is graphing for dummies. Okay? Sige, let's. Next one. 2x plus y is greater than or equal to 6. So, what would happen, everyone? What would happen would be this one. We assume always that it's equality. Okay, we assume that it's always equality. And we assume that x is 0 and y is equal to 0. Okay, so having this as 0, this would be 2 times 0 is plus y is equal to 6. And this would be um, 2x plus 0 is equal to 6. So, this would be y is equal to 6, and 2x, x is equal to 3. So, this is both positive, so we will go mostly in the first quadrant. So, first quadrant. So, we go at 6 for y and 3 for x. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And for x, it's 3. 1, 2, 3. Plot the points. One here and one here. Connecting the dots. Let's connect the dots. Wa. Let's connect the dots using our ruler. Okay. 
Okay, and let's remove the ruler now. This would be your very perfect, very nice um, line. Okay po? So this would be how to graph using the intercepts. And I hope that everyone got this one. This is applicable for both inequalities and equalities. So you can use this for both cases. Okay? As for the solutions for these equations and this inequality, it would be discussed on a separate video. Okay? So I hope that you have learned something today. Thank you again for listening everyone. And Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.